love and light collective love and light and welcome back to another video so guys i have been heavy in scripture like you guys have seen from the videos below but um there has been a lot going on in my personal life and i wanted to shed some light to the collective on the situations that have been going on because i know i have a handful of people who just tune in to manipulate my energy and to see where my energy is at but then i know i also have a handful of collective that really support me and really pray for me and really just want the best for myself so i wanted to shed some light and then I also asked God and I sat with God for a little while and I asked him to give me the messages, give me the message that you want me to um, share with the people who just watch with, you know, evil schemes and plans and plots against myself. Okay, so before we get into this, I don't know if I'm going to do cards, maybe, maybe not, um, but I'm going to pray and then we're going to kind of get into some personal things and then what the message was okay so let's clear the energy father god angels divine holy spirit and ancestors please go ahead and protect my intuition protect my platform and protect the viewers that clicked on this video send them the same energy that they are sending myself if they are sending love and light Bless that to them and their family ten times fold. And if they are sending any evil eye, just return to the Most High and let the Most High deal with it as he seems fit. Okay, guys, so if you could see the posts. Um, one, let's just get into the season that we're in right now. So we are in cancer season and cancer is a water sign, you know, so that's very emotional. Um, that's that mother energy. And I think that's why I've been picking up so much on that childlike energy because i am like um that mother nurturing very caring very giving kind of energy so that's why i've been reading a lot about that and sharing a lot about that and channeling that energy um also i've been um my energy has been fluctuating um a lot due to manipulation but a lot also due to just the season that we're in which is the cancer season and here on this platform i want you guys to um, get the real and the raw of me. I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything. I'm not trying to be somebody I'm not. Um, when I have something that I want to voice and vocalize, I will because this is the platform that I do that at. And I know that there is people that can relate to what I'm feeling in that moment um, because I channel collective energy. But um, there has been a lot going on in my personal life. Um, a lot of... Um, people playing god a lot of people orchestrating things behind the scenes a lot of you know snakes in the garden let's just put it that way but um through all of that right and i've been listening to td jakes a lot and one of the um messages that um, i was getting was i just jotted down some key notes that i heard out of his um, speech and praise defeats isolation so there's a lot of um, people in the past, right? And we were talking about getting into that gateway in that new beginning. There is this new beginning. And for a lot of you guys, you have just stepped into it or you're just about to step into this new beginning. But there is a lot of people that are around you in your community. Um, I've been also watching... Um, I put on two shows. It's We're all over the place, so just roll with me, okay? If you guys have kids or you like animated movies, um, the first one was Bilal, B-I-L-A-L, -L, and I found it on YouTube. Check it out. It's a very impactful message. I've actually had the scene, the scenery in the beginning where this video takes place. Um, I had that vision of like, my past life in that kind of setting before so i knew it resonated though that movie resonated um 100 with me and um it's just a very good message so i highly suggest that you check it out but um in that in in that um speech that td jakes was saying it was praise defeats isolation and i feel like once you free your mind, the rest will follow, right? Once you guys free your mind and you guys really 
just accept things for what they are and you've come into acceptance with everything and everyone in your life you enter into this freer state and that's what that movie relates to it's like um this this guy started off as like a slave right and he started off um um in this town where people were worshiping all different gods but in the town that he got um enslaved to um their god was the god of money right and this town worshipped money and he knew that that wasn't the god that he needed to worship he knew that that was just an idol right and this town wanted him to um worship the same god as him like there's more than one god there's tons of gods and this um character in the movie Bilal I think that's how you say his name he would not give in to what this town um believed in he, they would he would not give in even people that said that they were churchgoers or said that they were religious right they praised their own god but it was a deity it was um uh, giving sacrifices to um, an idol not an actual god and so this character became isolated right he knew he had to serve to these people he had to he would he felt as if he was or they made him feel as if he was supposed to be lower than these people but really he was not at all because of the heart that he had the heart that he had was um giving like there was a scene in the movie where there was this little orphan kid who was just starving and hungry and all these people just kept passing by passing by passing by nobody stopped to care for this child nobody stopped to feed this child but they were throwing all this money in like this um at this deity right and all this gold and all these coins at this deity to claim in more wealth so they were giving all this wealth away and they couldn't even spare this child like a coin or anything right and the child then was almost going to go and steal from that 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 deity that god that that statue that idol just to get something to eat because his hunger was taking over him so much right and that's when Bo and the other god the other authorities were watching and they were going to kill this child if he went and actually took and right at the nick of time this is where Baal Bial stepped in and um gave this child some food and spared that child and it was that heart and there was somebody also watching what he had done right so there are like and and i'm noticing this in my life as well like how i was telling you with these tests right um there's these tests that are being placed in the collective's life but also in my life as well um just to see how you're going to act just how just to see how you're going to respond just to s test your character almost these people think that they are god and that they are um setting up these things right um thinking that they're authority over you but you see all you see all already because you're given the gift of sight you're given the gift of intuition you you are my intuitive family right giving the gift of premonition seeing things before they happen right and a lot of people know this about you. A lot of people see these gifts on you, but what do they want to do? They want to keep you trapped back in that old cycle. But this character, right? Because they they almost killed him. In at one point in the scene, they almost killed him and they said, "You have to choose. You have to choose. Are you going to either die or are you going to admit that um you believe in our God?" and it was either death or believe in that god and he was at the point where he said you know what you kill me just kill me because i know my god my god is a vindicative god my god is a just god right my god isn't a god that would let a child go hungry and while everybody's throwing wealth in in at this deity at this idol right and i've been noticing that a lot in um my community and a lot in what's going on around me there's a lot of people in um places but they do it for wealth right they do everything that they do for wealth for money for for um status you, you know and it's just it, it's and because they see your heart because they see that your god is a different god even though say I might be wearing a cross around my neck and I walk a very Christian like lifestyle. I don't dedicate like I'm not I don't claim to a religion, you know, because I get some messages out of the Bible. I I don't claim to a religion. My God, 
religion is something that that separates us right um religion is something that that splits us up that tries to get people stuck in doctrines and beliefs and out you know and it, and, and that's and that's these you know people go to church with the devil tucked in their pocket and i've been noticing that as well in my community um i'm getting followed by church like church members members of churches are literally driving by my houses following me um try you know like getting the community all together to band to to keep me isolated right but the thing is and, and they and they see that because oh she's just a single woman you know she has a, a child and she's a single woman but she preaches the word of god right and i do it in a different way i read cards oh she can't read cards because that that's a devil no that's another doctrine that you're sticking yourself in a belief so people want to stop my messages i've actually had people hack into my phone to stop my messages like it, it these these are the things that have been going on in my life but through praise right praise defeats isolation you are never alone when you praise when you praise because you have God with you um, I'm praising in my home I'm not alone when I have you know um, God present I can feel the Holy Spirit walking through my walls and I know I have people you know wishing bad energy around where I'm living to to just try to um, ruin the relationship that I have with God I guess I don't know exactly what their schemes are what their plots what their plans are but I just know that they are intimidated by the relationship that I have with the Most High and um, the way that I walk with the Most High now does that mean that I'm perfect? Not at all. Does that mean that I don't get um, triggered or have mistakes? Not at all. We are all um, imperfect in God's eyes and he loves us just as so, you know, and, and but the thing is, is my heart is pure. There's no judgment. I'm not out here trying to plot, plan, scheme. I don't talk behind people's backs unless it's facts unless it's facts and unless I'm pointing out something that God has revealed to me you know and God has been revealing to me a lot of these people who who act so sweet on the outside and then behind they're literally trying to like set you know set things up and orchestrate things but but God has given me the message right and I'm going to share that but I just have some downloads first right and I feel like right now I'm walking in the life is almost like a David you know, like I'm walking in the life as like a David. David was last picked, you know. Everybody thought David was crazy, right? David was praising God, God but still emotional as well, you know. And that's what T.D. Jake said in one of his readings. If, if you, you know, life is like a quilt. Um, our relationship with God is like a quilt, right? It's like all the stitches lead in. You're going to have hard days. You're going to have good days. You're going to have hard moments. You're going to have good moments. But but praising God throughout that, all, throughout all of it, right? If you're finding a, a, a quilt that is perfectly stitched, that is where there's deceit in there. When you see somebody walking and trying to be so right and so just, and so just right? And trying to be so da, 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 that's when you know there's deceit in there, right? I can admit that I have flaws. I can admit that I have, um, you know, moments, you know, I can admit that. But my mind is solid because I have a good relationship with the Lord and I've been doing little tests like in the community tab so um, I've been really getting close with God lately no matter where I go I'm praising I have people um, following me I don't know how they know where I am maybe I have some kind of tracker on my car I'm not exactly too sure but I literally have people following me and I've been noticing the same cars and I've been writing down exactly the same cars that have been following me and um, and the people that I've been bumping into there's an, I don't believe in coincidence right and I can pick up on this energy now the thing that is really getting to me which is really starting to bother me is like um, these are grown adults these are adults my senior who and a lot of them are males so i have a lot of these male energies that are trying to come into my energy field as a scare tactic or as some kind of intimidation right and to me i just kind of find it like humorous but the thing that really um sits sits off with my with with my stomach and just makes me feel a little is that they get their children involved these people are doing this with their children i saw children in the car these people because they know that i like children so they think that maybe i won't it, it would be an easier way to get to me if they had a child with them 
You know what I mean? Which God sees what you're doing. You're subjecting your children to your dirty work. You're you're subjecting your children. They they go home and they and they mention me or they talk bad about me and their children are hearing this. So now these children are getting beliefs of what their parents or whoever these people are, are putting into their children's mind, which God is not, not happy with. Like I was getting these downloads and then I was getting actual validation. Children as young as like two years old picking up on this energy and now their vessels are getting filled with deceit and envy because it's rubbing up that same spirit do you understand that same demonic spirit is now getting put into these children at that young age? And these people are supposed to be churchgoers. These people are supposed to be people who, who are supposed to help the community. These people are, do you see what I'm saying? <sighs> these children are supposed to be innocent, but because who their parents are, they're like sponges, right? They're like sponges. Yes, even my son, for instance, you know, he may have out, outbursts and he may have moments, but his heart is pure because my heart is pure. And whenever he steps outside of himself, I'm right there to put him right back in himself and say, no, we don't do that. Or that is not what God wants. Or we don't act that way, you know. And, and, and then it's a mirror reflect because he sees what I am doing. So maybe there was a point in time where I said that and then I apologize not only to my son for that mistake, but to God, right? Do you see, I can admit my wrongs. I can humiliate myself to be humbled in the presence of the Lord. And I think that that's, that's the message. That's what we all have to do here. You guys might not agree with whatever I have to say. You might not agree with the relationship that I have with God. But I would never stalk. I would never intimidate. I would never try to set fear. I'm trying to break cycles. I'm trying to um, untie the bounds that, that people have been placed on their lives for so long. I'm trying to, you know, not repeat karmic cycles. I'm trying to get people closer to the, to the most high, whether whoever that most high is to you. Because like I said, religion is just another, yes, it is a way to get closer. Yes, it is a way to walk in that divinity. Yes, it's a, it's a way to know that there is one God, one creator, one almighty creator that is the power and the all of it right the universe well, whoever you believe in but my purpose and my mission is to become the best self that you can be through my own personal testimony and my downloads that i get from spirit and from god but then also to gain your own relationship with god okay that is my purpose here is to gain your own relationship with god and yes i do talk about the divine feminine and the divine masculine but at the end of the day my purpose is so that we can all connect to the most high that is why i created this platform but when you do create a uh, connect with the most high the most high blesses you with divine connections right divine relationships not just you know um, romantic relationships but relationships in all area and i think that's why these communities want to keep you isolated right want to try to i literally I, I, I even posted that i was meeting new people these new people were set up to be placed in my life, to see how I would act, to see what I would do, to see how I would move. People actually orchestrated other people to be brought into my energy. And I was given the download by that spirit. It's like, this is not genuine. This is not a gen. So now, and, and they do that for a reason as well. So that if I do meet somebody, I already have that inkling in me as if, the, is this another, is this another setup? Is this another plot? Is this another scheme, right? I live in a very small town, so it's like almost everybody knows everybody. You know what I'm saying? And it's like people in higher places, like lawyers and doctors and teachers and uh, churchgoers and, you know, all these people of high places are orchestrating these things for, for me. Like, I go out of my house and I almost feel as if I'm famous. No joke. I almost feel as if I'm famous because I have people following me. I have people tracking me. I have people coming up and setting up things towards me. But like I said, you are never alone when you have God in your life. And when you praise, because a lot of people praise. But then I also got that just because you praise doesn't mean that you have trust or doesn't mean that you, you build trust or a relationship with God. Okay. Anybody can be praising Anybody can be praising. Anybody can sing church songs and still not have the trust, right? 
Just because you praise God doesn't mean that you have the trust that God is going to protect you. Just because you praise God doesn't mean that you have the trust that God is going to cover you and, and, and be there for you, right? And I feel like a lot of these people <clears throat> can see that. <clears throat> I need to get some water. Hold on. Okay, I don't know why, uh, well, I do know why. But I, when I got up, I heard moment of silence. So it was like, almost like whoever is watching, they needed that moment of silence to just really digest that message that I just spoke on. Okay, we are already 20 minutes in and we still are on um, downloads. So when I flipped to the, you know, the Bible verse and I just, I prayed a little bit and I said, okay, God, so... You know, all things are naked before him, right? All things are naked before the presence of God. All things are naked um, when God sees you. And people don't like this, especially in my community. People don't like this. People don't like the messages that I share. People don't like the, you know, the the connection that I have with God. And, and it's not to say that my connection is stronger than anybody else's connection. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying that I walk with a pure heart. I'm not doing any of these plots plans schemes i'm not trying to um trick the collective i'm not trying i'm being genuinely 100 percent me if i'm having a moment and i want to share it i'm going to share it if i feel a certain way i'm going to you know speak my truth if i'm you know whatever it is i am raw and real and that is just what i am my vibe attracts my tribe okay and i know i have a handful of people that just don't agree with that who does she think she is doing cards? That's the devil. Who does she think she is that she can come on and, and spread these messages? Who does she think she is? I think I'm a child of God. I, I know I'm chosen. I know I'm a part of the 144. Okay, I just know that. And I don't need anybody else to try to tell me anything different. This is what I know. Why? Because I have a really good connection with the Most High. And I know the Most High loves me and covers me and protects me. Now, I also did post the thing where... Um, you know, I, I mean this with everything in me, I need to be in some kind of witness protection. I was literally having cars. I live like by, you know, the street you know, here. And I was literally having cars drive by my house all, all before I posted that, like all night. And, and not just driving, like driving and stopping. And, you know, driving, turning on their lights, flashing their lights. And it's just like, okay, like it's humorous to me. It's humorous to me. And what does that mean? To me, when I see all these things, I'm just like, wow, God is about to bless me in such a way. Like God is going to just, abundance is going to be blessed on me in, in all areas in such a way because of the fact of all this um, devilish activity. Okay, so let's move on into the scripture. And I also put Judah means praise. Okay, so it's, there's something really big about praise here. But I also want you guys to know that praise doesn't mean that you have trust in the Lord. I think really learning how to have trust in the Lord and really learning that no matter what you're going through, God is going to see it through. Really fully depending on the Lord. Like you guys know, I've been on this like twin flame journey for how long now? I've been on this spiritual journey for even longer. And I had trust in the Lord. I had trust in the Lord to heal me, mind, body, and soul. Right, God has really showed me the strength that I have within myself, but then also the strength that he's instilled in me because I put my trust in him. Okay, God's healed me from sickness. God healed me from addictions. God healed me from codependencies, abandon, right? God's healed me from, you name it, I am walking, living testimony of how real God is. If anybody knows me from my past and they knew what I prayed for and to see my son, he is exactly the exact to the T of what I requested from God. And God hand created him here in the flesh. Like, if that's not manifestation power, if that's not power of prayer, I, I don't know what else is. If you guys knew the walk of life that I lived, I'm not saying my battle is harder than anybody else's battle, but I have come such a long way from things that I have been through. Most people that have been through the things that I have been through are usually um, 
on drugs like I was, um, lost like I was, homeless like I was, you know, all these things, codependent like I was, um, depressed, you know, mentally unstable like I was, but God has brought me through all of that. This is living testimony here and I just want to be able to speak on that right that is what god wants us to do is when god blesses us and when god does things to praise him to give him the credit to give him the validation and that is what he has done for my life and i will continue to do this till the day that i die and it makes people upset and it makes people upset all right so let's go ahead and jump into this prayer I mean this this message so this is um, Jeremiah 11 the covenant is broken this is what the this is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord listen to the terms of the covenant and tell them to the people of Judah and to those who live in Jerusalem tell them that this is what the Lord God of Israel says cursed is the one who does who does not obey the terms of the covenant the terms I commanded your ancestors when I brought them out of Egypt, out of the iron smeltering furnace. I said, obey me and do everything I command of you, and you will be my people and I will be your God. Then I will fulfill the oath I swore to your ancestors and give you the land flowing with milk and honey, the land you possess today. So I feel like there is a lot of people that possess really good land, right? High, high statuses, people that have, you know, lots of wealth, people that own land, people that um, have these statuses and these, you know, positions in life, right? And God is just saying, obey me, obey me and I will give you the land of milk and honey, obey my laws, right? I answered, amen, Lord. So I am feeling like this is what, like God is trying to tell me, like, like I am Jeremiah and I am coming to tell the people that this is what the Lord has said. Okay. And I answered, amen, Lord. The Lord said to me, proclaim these words to the towns of Judah and to the streets of Jerusalem. Listen to the terms of the covenant and follow them. From the time I brought your ancestors up from Egypt until today, I warned them again and again saying, obey me. But they did not listen or pay attention instead they followed the stubbornness of their evil hearts so i brought on them all the curses of the covenant i had commanded them to follow but they did not keep the lord said to me there is conspiracy among the people of judah and those who lived in jerusalem they have returned to the sins of their ancestors who have refused to listen to my words okay i'm gonna stop right there because i feel like a lot of these people right they may have thought they were living a just life right they may have thought that they were work walking in in um you know walking in the footsteps of the lord and then here comes me right somebody in the community who is speaking out somebody in the community who is walking a really tight path right and it was a test i was the test i was the light that was shining on these people i was the one who came to test i was that that judgment almost from god did i ask to be this no did i ever you know i am like walking karma i don't know why this happens i can either you know allow people but i am the change i am the 555 i am you know i am that change that is just something that i have always been placed with in people's lives but it's usually after i leave do they notice like okay that was that test that was what i was that was the gift that was that you know but I feel like I was placed and God wanted to see all these people who are in churches, who are in high places, who are in positions, right? How are you going to act when this person comes in and reflects everything on you, right? Because I'm like a mirror. When I go into rooms, when I meet people, I almost reflect their own insecurities and it's a test. What are you going to do? How are you going to treat this chosen child? Because I, I'm, I'm very... Um, like I avoid confrontation when I first meet people. I'm, I come off as naive. I come off as you know just you know just because that's what God has placed on my heart. God does not want me to. Um, it's almost like giving them that first. Like how are you going to act? How what are you going to do? Right? I over, I've already read the whole situation. I've already seen the situation before I go into it. But I can't go in arrogant. Oh, I know what's gonna happen. Oh, I already know how you're going to act. Oh, I already read your aura. 
I can see your energy from two planets away. No, like, no, you don't go in like that. So I have to humble my gifts. I have to humble, you know, myself. And I go in naive. But I'm not naive. I've already saw everything that's going on. But it's a test. You know, it's that test. How are you going to treat my child? Okay. They have followed other gods to serve. Both Israel and Judah have broken the covenant I made with their ancestors. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. I, I will bring on them a disaster they cannot escape. Although they cry out for me, I will not listen to them. The town of Judah and the people of Jerusalem will go and cry out to the gods to whom they burn incense and they will not help them at all when disaster strikes. You, Judah, have many gods as you have towns and the altars you have set up to burn incense to the shameful god Baal and there many are as many as the streets of Jerusalem. Okay, and that's what I see too. Like everywhere I go, there are so many different religions, and that's what I'm saying. I like religions aren't, you know, but it, it's like they to statues and they praise like, you know what I mean? Like like they have pictures of you know all these things hanging out, and they praise those things, but it's like those things are not God. Those things are God is 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 the all you don't need you know what i mean like am i making sense like the video if i am but pictures and 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 you know crosses and and all these things that you guys praise that's not god god is within us god is everywhere i tell my son god is like the wind you can't see god but you can hear him and you can feel him and boy does he make an impact you can't see him all right you can see what he does just like the wind, right? You can see the wind, you can see what the wind does, but you can't see the wind. God is in us, okay? We don't need to be looking outside ourselves. We don't need to go and, and you know, and I think that's also what it is. It's like people, because I'm hearing like, who does she think she is, right? Who does she think she is who can come up here and call the masses and call people? I'm not calling anybody. People click on my video. People who need to click on the video will click on the video. When I first heard the word of God, I was going out and preaching it. And people were getting way turned off by what I was doing. So I said, okay, God, give me, give me the clarity. How do I share your messages so I'm not offending anybody? You guys come to me. Okay, I'm not calling anybody. You guys come to me. Because somewhere in your soul, you need to hear this message. Okay. Do not pray for these people or offer any plea or petition for them because I will not listen when they call to me in the time of their distress. What is my beloved doing in the temple as she with many others work her evil schemes? Can, can consecrated me avert your punishment when you engage in your wickedness and then you rejoice? That's a lot of these people too. They plot and they plan and then they sit back and they, they laugh and they, and they, you know, oh, it's working. Oh, yay. Oh, yeah. The Lord called you a thriving oil tree with, with fruit beautiful in form, but with the roar of the almighty storm, he will set it on fire and its branches will be broken. The Lord almighty who planted you as the, as decreed disaster for you because of the people of both Israel and Judah have done evil and aroused my anger by burning incense to Baal. Okay, plot against Jeremiah. Now this is more of a personal message. This is more of a message of what's going around in my community, okay? And things that I have been seeing from people. It might not be to this extent, I hope not, but this is the message that I got. Because the Lord revealed their plots to me, I knew for at that time he showed me what they were doing. I had been like a gentle lamb led to the slaughter. I did not realize that they had plotted against me saying, let us, de let us destroy the tree and its fruit. Let us cut him off from the land of the living that his name be remembered no more. But you, Lord Almighty, who judge righteously and test the heart and the mind, who test the heart and the mind, not praise. Okay, praise is good, but test the heart and the mind, okay? 
Let me see your vengeance on them, for to you I have committed my cause. Therefore, this is what the Lord says about the people of Anathoth who are threatening to kill you, saying, Do not prophesy in the name of the Lord, or you will die by our hands. I hope to God, I pray to God, <laughs> that I do not have people actually saying that they were going to take my life because of the work that I'm doing, because of the message that I'm sharing. However, today when I was sitting down on my couch having dinner and watching this movie that I forget the name, um, but it was another animated movie. Um, if I remember, I'll share it in the community tabs. But as I was sitting down, I live across a pasture, a big mountain pasture and a huge highway. And I heard screaming. And I'm like, what is that noise? Screaming, screaming. And I look across the street and there's like this homeless man with no, with only shorts on, no shirt, no shoes, darting across the traffic, like dodging traffic cars. And my heart got so scared because he's screaming and it looks like he's running straight towards me. Like I can see exactly him. And there's cars going by and he's darting right through but he's screaming the whole time. And when he, and like, to me, it seemed like he was screaming so that I could look at him, like give him my attention, right? That's what it seemed to me. But when I saw that, my heart got so scared because I saw the cars. I thought, oh my God, he's like gonna kill himself. Like that's my first thing was like, what is he doing? You know, like you would be crazy to run across this highway in the night, that's ridiculous. You guys know if you've been following me, all the car accidents that go right around this area, you know how crazy it is. Um, but he made it across the street. And when he made it across the street, right out front my window, he started laughing. And it was like this like possessed laugh. Like this was not a normal laugh. It was like the laugh of the devil almost because it instilled that fear in me. Do you understand? So we like the way that i am connecting right now i'm a very spiritual being but this is not just a spiritual warfare the devil and and that's why i know blessings are going to come tenfold over my life in just a little while because the devil is using every person he can find church people people of high places that are supposed to be helping the community because they want me to be back praising their God, which is the money, going after the money. There has been, I had businesses that people tore, tried to tear down, tore down, because I did not want to work. Um, not all money is good money. Let's just put it that way. Not all money is good money. Pay, offering to pay me more, pay me double, just so that I work with them. It, like, because they want me codependent on that money, like like to sell my soul almost for that. And because I'm not, now the devil is coming 10 times, sending whoever he can, right, to me. I don't do this for the money. I've never done it for the money. I, I have trust in the Lord that no matter what I do, he's always going to cover me. He's always going to protect me, right? Therefore, this is what the Lord Almighty says. I will punish them. Their young men will die by the sword, their sons and daughters by famine. Now, this is what I was saying about these people getting their children involved. Because you have gotten your children involved in your dirty work, in your plots and your plans and your schemes. Because I know some of you guys are getting paid to do this. But you're falling in the pits of the devil's grips. This is what you're doing. And you're not only, you're doing it with your kids in the car. You're talking about it with the kids in the car. Now, this is, is not good. Not even a remnant will be left of them because I will bring disaster on the people of Anathoth in the year of their punishment. You are always righteous, Lord, when I bring a case before you. Yet I will speak with you about justice. Why does the way of the wicked prosper? Why do all the faithful, faithless live at ease? You have planted them and they have taken root. They will grow and bear fruit. You are always on their lips, but far from their hearts. Yet you know me, Lord. You see me and test my thoughts about you. Drag them off like sheep to be butchered. 
set them apart from the day of the slaughter. Now, I do not wish that on, on these people that are plotting and planning. I do not wish any harm on you. I just wish that God will handle the situations and um, give you the clarity that you need, right? And for the ones that support, I know that you guys are probably going through these little battles and trials and tribulations yourself because I am channeling this energy and because I'm going through it, it's a lot heavier for someone like myself. Um, I get it like 10 times more strong, you know, with the battles and the, and the outside chaos. But for the true supporters, this is either like a heads up or this is just confirming that you guys are going through a lot of the same things too. However long, how long will the land lie parched and the grass in every field be withered because those who lived in it are wicked the animals and birds have perished moreover the people are saying he will not see what happens to us god's answer if you have raced with men on foot and they have worn you out how can you compete with horses now these are for my chosen and i get emotional when i read this because this is what god is trying like just listen to this and really let it soak in for the ones who know that you have been doing right. For the ones that you know that have been not plotting and planning and trying to play God. For the ones who have been put up time after time after time against, against tests and trials and tribulations. Just listen to this, okay? Because this, this is your preparation. This is your final. How I was saying a final test, this is this is it. And this is because when you enter into that new scene, in, into that new gateway, right? That new beginning, don't think that there's not going to be tests, okay? Here we go. God's answer to why all of this has been going on. If you have raced with men on foot and they have worn you out, how can you compete with horses? If you stumble in safe country, how will you manage in the thickets by the Jordan? Your relative members of your own family, even they have betrayed you. They have raised a loud cry against you. Do not trust them. They, though they speak well of you, I will forsake my house, abandon my inheritance. I will give the one I love into the hands of her enemies. My inheritance has become to me like a lion in the forest. She roars at me, therefore I hate her. Has not my inheritance become to me like a speckled bird of prey, that other birds of prey surround and attack? Go and gather all the wild beasts and bring them to devour. Many shepherds will ruin my vineyard and trample down my field. They will turn my pleasant field into a desolate wasteland. It will be made a wasteland, parched and desolate before me. The whole land will be laid waste because there is no one who cares. Overall, the barren heights in the desert destroy will swarm. For the sword of the Lord will devour from one end of the land to the other. No one will be safe. They will sow wheat but reap thorns. They will wear themselves out but gain nothing. They will bear the, same, the shame of their harvest because of the Lord's fierce anger. This is what the Lord says. As for all my wicked neighbors who seize their inheritance I gave my people of Israel, I will uproot them from their land and I will uproot the people of Judah from among them. But after I uproot them, I will again have compassion and I will bring each one of them back down to their inheritance and their own country. And if they learn well the ways of my people, I swear by my name, saying as surely as the Lord lives, even as they once taught my people to swear by Baal, then they will establish among my people. But if my nation does not listen, I will completely uproot and destroy it, declares the Lord. And I'm going to stop there at 444 on the clock when I said that. So God is saying for his chosen children, the reason why all of this has been going on is because that new gateway that you are going to be entering into, that new beginning, yes. If you have raced with men and you have gotten tired, just like I have, right? If I have been up against men who, grown men, men older than me, trying to instill fear, how can I, how can I handle racing with horses, right? If I get stressed out in just the country how can i handle the thickets of the jordan 
collective, what you guys have been going through has been just preparing you, has gaining your strength, has been building you up because what you guys are about to enter into, I can't make it up. Thank you, God, for being so good and so clear. I'm talking about this because what you guys are going to be entering into is going to be beautiful. You are going to be living in a beautiful land of honey and milk, new beginnings, new blessings, new opportunities. But there will be, comes new levels, comes new devils, right? New levels comes new devils. This new beginning is going to have its own trials and tribulations. This new beginning is going to have even bigger demons and bigger trials. But this is why you are doing this. Because God is preparing you for something great. Okay? Patience. God is saying just have the patience because you are almost there. You have made it out of the dark now. Do you see how this dark circle is on the outside? Now you are in the light. Have the patience. Spirit is with you. Have the patience. You have been patient. You have been patient, but just have more patience on God. Trust that what God is doing is going to be amazing. Trust that what he has for you is perfectly handcrafted for you. Your inheritance, yes, was picked on. Yes, your inheritance was trying to be stolen. Whatever your inheritance is for you, it doesn't need to only be wealth. Okay, inheritance is a lot of things. But your inheritance is on its way, all right? And this is why, this is why you have been going through this, okay? We have beginnings, two, which also signifies union and partnership. And then we also have 36, which breaks down to an eight. Sorry, a nine. So I feel like you're patient. You have been in this single energy, right? You have been patient in this single energy. But like I said, you are never alone when you have the Lord with you. You are never alone when you're praising the Lord. Just like T.D. Jake said, even when you get in your car and you start singing worship and you start praising the Lord, you're not driving alone. You're driving with God by your side. And that's what I have been doing. That is what I've been realizing. I have chills all over the place. I can feel the Holy Spirit in this house. When I speak the word of God, things come to pass. When I come into people's lives, I make change. That's just something that I do, okay? And people do not like that. People do not want change to happen. People want things to stay the same. People don't want things to switch up, all right? Two, new beginnings coming in, coming into partnership and alliance because you had the patience. You've done it alone, collective. This new cycle is going to bring you new relationships, new partnerships, new unions, new, new beginnings. But you're going to have it with physical people that, who are not going to be envious of you. you. And that was the next movie, man, I wish I could. See. It was something pilgrim, like, oh, what is the movie? The Traveling Pilgrim or something like that. It was the book. It's a book that was written and it's in so many different languages, but it was never um, it was never made into like a hard copy. So a lot of people don't have this book. It's like a hidden book, but you have to go through this trail and it's like this. Check it out. It's on YouTube. Google it if you want. It's an animated movie and it's like tr The Traveling Pilgrim or something pilgrim. Okay, but if you know, comment it down below. I watched those, those two movies, but all be all and that pilgrim movie and my god it hit so so on point to what i've been feeling and what my life has been going through and the walk of with god that i have been doing but then also it's a kid movie it's it's animated so you can get your kids to watch this you know instead of plotting and planning and talking about people you know like myself in front of your children put that movie on let your children get get nourished by god instead of this deceit you guys are feeling your children with this deceit because you're letting your children hear your beliefs and now you're filling your children and do you want your children to perish in your own stupidity i'm sorry but do you right god is saying for the ones that have been doing the work who have been up against you are protected you are highly protected and when i said i feel like i need to be in witness protection that was a test i know i'm protected by god but i saw all the prayers one i i needed to do that to really see that how you know and and thank you because i could feel your prayers i could feel every single one of your prayers the genuine ones i could feel them but then i also felt and i noticed and i noticed 
all the other things that started happening how the devil's like okay she feels like she needs protection so her you know the the level of protection with god is lessening so let's come and come and swarm her a little bit more no my my relationship with god will never shake never shake okay but you are protected you are protected you have past life 24 breaking down to a six you have past life ancestors past life spirit guides past life loved ones who are flying over you who are protecting you who are carrying you out of the situation every time you close your eyes and sleep at night they're renewing you they're filling you up in the spirit okay you guys are highly 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 protected yes you're at peace you're at peace with everything that is going on. You have the presence of the Holy Spirit around you. You are staying pure. You come, 28, breaking down to a 10. You have completed a cycle of, of, of toxicity, of, of, of these, these, these illusions, right? Because you have the faith. You know that what God is going to bless you with is going to be this beautiful new beginning and you will meet people in this new beginning who will actually ride with you, who will actually support you, who won't be jealous when you have new blessings coming in, who will want to add to those blessings. You have the faith. Some of you guys will be conceiving. Some of you guys are birthing new projects, new world, just like me. I said, you know what? People want my business. People want, you want it? Have it have it you want me start from ground up again so be it i will because obviously you won take it it's yours take it all it's yours you want it have it and god says give it to them give it to them give it to them they want it so bad give it to them because what i'm going to bless you with let no man take away let no man take away your gifts are not going to be taken away your work is not going to be taken away your your creation is not going to be taken away because what i'm going to bless you with no one will be able to take away no one will be able to fraud you no one will be able to misjudge your character no one will be able to try to energy swap and think that that work is their work and none of it because what i'm going to bless you with is going to be a public blessing you guys are going to get a public blessing and everyone is going to know why you were chosen. So congratulations. That's what I, yes, because you guys stayed in gratitude. You guys stayed in gratitude. You have your ancestors with you. You have your spirit guides with you. You have God with you. No matter what trials and tribulations you're going through, you go to bed every night saying thank you. You wake up every day saying thank you. Even when you have people following you, you have church members trying to tear you down, don't want to share your messages. You have people in high places trying to bother you, trying to stop you. You say thank you because you know all of this is happening because God is about to move in your life collective. All right? I've been channeling the song. Celebrate good times. Come on. It's time to celebrate. You know, I don't know where I'm getting that, but I just heard that and it just started sticking with me all afternoon. And I'm just like, I, like, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. But we walk by faith, not by sight. We have faith over fear. There is something that's going to happen for the collective that you guys are going to be celebrating, okay? So congratulations, collective. Congratulations for making it into this new beginning. Congratulations. We have nourishment. We have masculine. And then we have balance. Maybe you're nourishing your masculine energy and getting that in balance so that you can balance out that feminine and masculine. Maybe there is a masculine that is going to be nourishing and giving you balance take it how it resonates we did see new beginnings which is a two so maybe there is a masculine energy that will come in and nourish you and give you balance i feel like for myself as well i know that a lot of these energies feel like they can personally come and attack me is because i don't have a man standing next to me i feel like it seems like i'm an easy target but God always tells me, I'm your man, I'm your protector, I'm your husband, I'm the one that's watching over you, right? And 
just because they can't see a physical being next to me oh she's an easy target oh we can go and do this to her oh we can do and go and do that to her oh we can block her here oh we can send these people you know to her to see what you know all these things we can all of it because i don't have a physical person here but god is far more stronger and far more you know the almighty you know when you have god on your side there the, no weapon formed against you shall prosper and that, that's just that and just because people can't see it right because a lot of these people they walk by sight not by faith they may praise but that doesn't mean that they have trust in the lord okay let's see what else wants to come out before we go ahead and close this because we are already five five on the clock signifying change is coming collective change is coming there is balance coming in there is nourishment coming in you guys have been having the faith you guys have been highly protected okay highly protected yes a soulmate there is a soulmate coming in for you collective somebody who is going to nourish you somebody who's going to be able to um just be a helpmate to you collective service be so be of service to you what is it that you need because you have been a service to so many other people now somebody is going to come in and be a service to you but just be careful pray on it take your time because if you're like me and you have these people coming towards you um people come in um in disguises right appearances may be deceiving they may come like what you want but at the end they may be um you know hidden agendas but this is going to give you expansion god is expanding you to new beginnings new levels okay god is going to be in second confirmation with birth this birth of the world as well so we have two world births here okay some of you guys will be conceiving i've been picking up childlike energy a lot if not a physical birth you guys will be um birthing a new creation birthing a new a new cycle yes gratitude again gratitude and this is going to be bittersweet for your haters, but also bittersweet for you. All right, people are going to watch you. I kept hearing, I'm preparing a table before you in the presence of your enemies. I'm preparing a table before you in the presence of your enemies. God is saying you've had the patience, but now is the time. You've had the patience, but now is the time. All right, the confusion, no more, because you're following your instincts and you're staying in prayer. So now you're filled with wisdom. Cannot make it up. The confusion is no more because you have followed your instincts. I feel like if I had not followed my animalistic instincts, I probably would have been hurt by now. Because I listened to my intuition, I have been placed in situations and things so much lately that i had to follow my instincts with london barking and a dog on there that's confirmation maybe your animals have been trying to tell you something you've been staying in prayer but you've also been filled with wisdom so collective congratulations congratulations while other people will be in complacency just watching you right yeah being other people being filled with guilt right for messing with an art for doing trickery to to an uh, an earth angel but now god is coming in and giving you balance but look at the people below they're not happy they're not happy about this they don't want you to have this balance right but but they're going to be in grief they're going to be everything that they wished on you is going to come back on them tenfold all right because you have found your self-worth but when i also see this self-worth look at that chair god has lit up that chair for you collective you are chosen he has handpicked you to sit on this chair all right he has handpicked you to to say the mess to speak his message right people have been impatient people have been filled with mysticism right but balance balance is coming in joy is coming in all right let's go ahead and get one angel message actually a bible verse and then an angel message and we'll close on out Thank you guys so much for sticking out. I know this is a long video, but you know, I've been, these are the downloads that I've been getting. And I know a lot of people have been, you know, projecting their energy, trying to do confusion spells, trying to do all of this, um, you know, but I share the messages that need to come out and I see the energy. Um, I can read energy through a text message. I can read energy through a comment. I can, I can read it all. I know how to decipher it all. And it just helps me to um, pull collective energy. Pull collective energy at the end of the day. That's what it helps me do. 
So thank you guys for all your love and support for the ones that really do love and support me. Um, you know who you are. I know who you are. So thank you for that. Um, big things are coming. Big things are coming. I'm going to take the first one. God only knows what you've been through. God only knows the real you. And that's for both sides, right? For the people who've been doing the right and people who have been doing in the wrong. God knows the real you. What does he do? He tests the mind and the heart. God can hear your thoughts, right? God knows what you, and, and that's the thing. It's like, I, I have been blessed with that intuition as well. I can hear thoughts. I can, I can hear people. I can feel people's heart. I know where their heart is at. I know where their thoughts are at. And so when I come into their energy, it's like I'm just mirroring back what they feel, right? And it's like that is that test. What are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with that? Let's go ahead and pull one angel message because, okay, what do you desire? And we're ending it on that because this is what God and your angels want you to really focus on. You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desire and know that you are ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life like magic. Okay, guys, so right now I want you to just take a second and think, what is it that you want? What is it that you want God to bless you with? Okay, pray upon that. Send that message to God and let it come in tenfold into your life. I love you guys so much. It was 111 on the clock when we did that. Thank you so much for all your love and support, guys. Blessings are on its way. I love you. Peace.